Well, Bob, we're certainly learning a lot. Flash, don't worry. We have your back when Jack and I see Buck Showalter. We're certainly asking him why he has not been returning your text. It won't go uh, certainly unnoticed. But, Jack, we were talking a little bit as the Yankees continue to wait for Aaron Judge and see what his ultimate decision is. What is their potential plan B if things should fall apart? You had mentioned some of the shortstops on the market right now and Carlos Correa, Xander Bogarts. And, you know, you look at Correa in particular. If they didn't go out and get him a year ago, I'd be hard-pressed to believe that they were going to do it this year and you heard Kevin Reese and Michael Fishman talking about some of the youth that they have in the organization in the middle infield right you have to pivot if you don't sign Aaron Judge but I again look at the fact that the Yankees had the opportunity to go after a free agent shortstop last year and didn't do it so now you're a year closer to these players that you feel so strongly about and watching Peraza last year I think there is a lot to be excited about he came up he looked so smooth at shortstop your eyes told you when you watch this kid play shortstop that you could put him out there defensively things were going to be seamless Volpe is right behind him in terms of a trajectory to the minor leagues. I think he still needs some AAA time. He had 99 plate appearances at the AAA level last year, 30 strikeouts. So you got to figure that out. But his numbers overall, the blend of power and speed were very strong. So if the Yankees in their own internal meetings have talked about wanting to get to the point where the young players are a factor, I'm not sure that they dip their toe in the water of these free agent shortstops. When you talk about Volpe, he has been getting rave reviews, and you wonder what type of pressure that yeah. kid is feeling right now, knowing how much people are looking forward to him potentially uh, being in the Bronx relatively soon. Right, and he's a local kid. He's from New Jersey. Obviously, he played high school baseball with Al Leiter's son, Jack, and he has moved through the system very well, and I think there's a lesson in there, Meredith. When he has talked about what he did during the pandemic season where there was no minor league baseball there were some players who probably didn't put in the work that Volpe did but Volpe put in a ton of work working on his swing working on his defensive ability his agility and you could see all of that coming to fruition and I think the Yankees have a lot to be excited about from a youth perspective at some point in 2022 if 2023 if there aren't any trades made I envision that Peraza and Volpe will both make their major league debuts. Do you expect Glaber Torres to be on the opening day roster next year? That's a great question. We know at the trade deadline last year that the Marlins were interested in uh, were interested in Glaber. Pablo Lopez was the pitcher out there, but they wanted Glaber and Peraza. The Yankees weren't going to make that deal. I think with the uncertainty that is swirling around DJ LeMahieu and his toe. I don't think you can just suddenly shed Glaber Torres. I think Glaber Torres provides a veteran presence at second if you do go with Peraza at shortstop. I also think Glaber steadied himself last year. He, he put up numbers that the Yankees expect from him. He's a couple years away from free agency, so I'm not of the mindset that Glaber is a guy that you suddenly just jettison. When you look at the cost of starting pitching, you yeah. wonder who potentially could be a trade chip if they decide to go that direction and trying to get another starter. Jack, do you even feel like they need some reinforcements when it comes to that rotation? You have Garrett Cole, Luis Severino should be healthy, healthy Nestor Cortez, Frankie Montas. You don't know exactly what's going to happen with Clark Schmidt or Domingo Herman and how they'll be used. I always think that you need pitching. Every manager, general manager, and pitching coach would tell you that get more pitching but again in talking to Yankee officials about what's out there sure would you like to have Carlos Rodon absolutely a lefty pitching at Yankee Stadium the stuff that he brings but what is the price what is the cost and how does that factor into the decisions that you are making and improving your team elsewhere so you just mentioned those five I think that's a legitimate starting rotation at the major league level if Montas can be who they expected him to be. I think the Yankees are going to continue to have conversations with somebody like Rodon. I am wondering if they ever do get to the finish line with an expensive pitcher like that. Talked a little bit about the starters. They could certainly use a little bit of help in that bullpen as well. We saw Clay Holmes in the first half of last season. He was pretty much unhittable. He was fantastic and then struggled a little bit in the second half. Do you feel comfortable with what they have as closing options for that bullpen? I remain bullish on Clay Holmes because I don't think that that half a season, Meredith, was a mirage. You watch that sinker coming out of his hand, that demon sinker and the movement that he had on that pitch and to me that just doesn't disappear 
I think he had an issue with where he was releasing the ball. I think injuries impacted him. To me, if you're the Yankees, you go into the season saying Clay Holmes is your closer. I think Loisaga is a nice backup or a nice setup man. But as you and I talked about off air, he's got to stay healthy. He's got to prove that he can be out there and be somebody they can rely on for a full season. You mentioned Clay Holmes and that demon sinker, the best sinker on the planet, as Aaron Boone liked to call it in the first half of last season. Time will tell whether or not he has that pitch when we get to spring training and exactly how he and guys like Jonathan Loisaga are used in the back end of that bullpen but a lot of time until then Bob a lot of decisions on this Yankees roster need to be made